solving a small or mere side business that involves this merge acquisition period. Uh, so they need to consider to hire a very good uh, legal counsel and also a CPA firm. They are specialized in the merger and the acquisition area uh, to help them to do the legal due diligence and the financial due diligence. Uh, this is a very important uh, stage uh, for uh, a firm. They try to merge another uh, business. Uh, so uh, if you haven't reached the agreement for the value uh, for the business, uh, then you need to do the business valuation at the same time. So if uh, there's a, a third party specialist provide a business valuation report uh, for the buyer, and uh, that's definitely, it's a, it's a you know, good consideration for the buyer to see you know, the offer he present or the seller, you know, they just uh, um, put on a table, it's uh, fair or reasonable. Uh, then you also need to think about the, the payment term. The payment term is uh, you need to pay uh, cash upfront 100% or you need to pay by installment. Then also you need to think about you want to keep all the management team, uh, including the owner for a certain period of time. So how you can uh, have like a, uh, some uh, officers, uh, like a contract uh, employment agreement. Uh, you know, just be ready. So let's keep the key management team be working with the company for maybe a year uh, to three years. Uh, so that's also a, another thing, you know, for the buyer, uh, you know, to think about. Uh, and also you want to put a, like a payout schedule. So if uh, the management team, they did a good job uh, when they uh, stay in the office, you, you might be, to think about to pay some a bonus uh, on top of on top of the uh, the the acquisition price. So in this case, so you want to not just uh, uh, acquire the business, you acquire the other talent, or me and also the the whole uh, management team uh, with you. Uh, so I think that that's the uh, some considerations you know for the buyer to think about uh, when you uh, do a, a merger and acquisition. Um, so when we talk about if uh, the competitor, you know, try to uh, uh, merge you uh, without your, you know, uh, your willingness uh, to merge with them. Uh, so, I mean, that's usually it happened for the public to the company. Uh, you know, they just, uh, uh, you know, acquired, you know, the company share uh, just uh, under the table or maybe be, uh, you know, you didn't notice, you know, they try to be, uh, try to control uh, your company's shares, uh, you know, if you go public. But for the private health company, uh, I think it's uh, not that easy, you know, for another competitors uh, try to acquire you uh, without your willingness uh, to cooperate. Uh, but uh, I will say uh, sometimes, you know, in the market, they try to be intentionally, uh, try to grab your customer or maybe intentionally lower the price, you know, try to make you in a very difficult situations. Uh, but, you know, that's another story. So uh, for, you know, merger acquisition part, uh, you know, if you don't want to be acquired by another firm, you know, you just don't want to start the, the talk. I think uh, uh, for private health company, that should be good enough. When we talk about the do the merge acquisition, uh, so we want to uh, uh, pay attention to uh, you acquire a business of the corporation, or you want to be acquired a share of the business. If you acquire the share of the business, that means you own the company. Then you need to also look into the potential litigation uh, risk the company inherited. So if the company uh, do not really have a very clean book or they have uh, some uh, other uh, lawsuit, you know, with their uh, uh, prior employee or contractor, or there's a customer or client. So you need to be uh, pay attention to. So if there's some uh, potential legal uh, issues, uh, will be uh, uh, 
occurred, you know, after you acquired this business. Uh, so the legal DD, you know, is, is a must and the required and it's very important. Uh, you know, sometimes the business can have gain, have profit or have a loss, that's fine. But uh, if you carry on all the legal problem, so that can be make you a big headache. Uh, so the potential damage can be tenfold or hundred or even more uh, than, you know, uh, it looks like. So uh, make sure the legal due diligence is in place uh, when you do the uh, merge acquisition. Uh, have, uh, the legal counsel must be reviewed. All the contract agreement is signed uh, with uh, you know all the parties uh, before. Yeah, and uh, uh, another thing you know for the buyer need to uh, uh, think about it. Uh, you know, maybe have some potential uh, like a dispute for the total acquisition price uh, later on if you do a, an installment payment. Uh, because, you know, when you purchase this uh, business with uh, one price, like $10 million, you said, okay, I need uh, uh, $2 million down upfront. I need another $80 million, uh, the rest of the payment to pay you uh, in full payment and the $2 million each year. But after two years, that can be some argument said, hey, the $10 million, you know, the acquisition price is based on the financial data you give to me, but which is uh, not correct. So you hide some, uh, something or some number is not true. Then that can be some potential uh, litigation or lawsuit, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, for the future. So sometime for the uh, seller part. So they don't want to consider is a long-term like an installment plan. They want to be maybe let the buyer uh, have like a 100% like a cash offer with a discount uh, for the very beginning or make this uh, installment uh, uh, term uh, in a short term and uh, not three to five years instead of one to two years. Yeah, make sure so for the seller, so you can protect yourself uh, for the uh, you know long-term some dispute or lawsuit uh, in that particular uh, some uh, consideration.